summertime is kind of our busiest time on Pat Dye Field, preparing the field for the next season. The unique thing about Pat Dye Field is it's 419 Tiffway Bermuda grass until about mid-October, and then we overseed with perennial ryegrass so that we'll have green grass throughout the year. Every year is a little different, so we just kind of have a baseline, a guideline that we like to follow, and then we just kind of let the, let the field tell us what it needs as we move along. But during the summers, we're mowing two to three to four times a week, depending on the weather. We rely heavily on our turf grass school here so that if there's a question we want answered, we'll, we'll answer it through research. We're calling Dr. Hahn to see what he's seeing around the states. What's he seeing in terms of weeds? We're, we're trying to get a head start to know what's coming before it hits us. The second that the game ends, we bring the mower out, we cut the grass, we're trying to begin the healing process from that game. The one good thing about athlete traffic is they're kind of ripping and tearing the grass. The field can recover quicker from athlete traffic than it can with a cheerleader or a marching band member stomping in place or with fans rushing the field and, and stomping on the field. We're doing cultural practices and, and fertility practices and fine tuning the field. We've got a group of guys who are very educated, who are very experienced. Our whole crew is unwavering in our commitment to make sure that we provide the best playing surfaces for our athletes and especially on um, that pad dive field.